You want to know why I believe I'm different than a lot of different Christian hip hop artists? When I hear other Christian hip hop artists, a lot of them do music and a lot of them are not giving biblical content. And I'm saying this not to say that I'm better than anybody else. I'm just saying when you classify yourself as a Christian artist, like you would think that it would have something to do with Christ. And I understand that the music is going to be uh, different a lot of times. Like, for example, like some of my music is not just Jesus, 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 Jesus. So our Bible, 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 Bible. Sometimes we just relate to real life stuff. But still, somewhere in that song, you should still be talking about, like, for the most part, you know, like, um, like, uh, for example, um, a, a, lot, a lot of my songs are different. And like Southside Hayden, for example, which is one of the songs that I like that I've released years ago. And Southside Hayden, for example, is one of those songs where I feel like I made that more for the streets. Um, I made it more as something that you know just kind of talking about real life stuff but i do give biblical things in there i just i'm more or less speaking allegory uh parable type you know uh hyperbole i guess type uh stuff so some of the stuff if i really didn't explain it some people might not know what i'm talking about and you know and I hear maybe that's the same thing that's going on with some of these other artists. But my thing is, because I read the Bible on a regular and I, I know the parables and stuff like that in the Bible, I can pretty much, when somebody's speaking in parable or allegory, I can pretty much listen to it. If I listen to it enough, I'll understand what they're saying or what they're, or, I, or, I, or I'll understand that they're trying to say something else. So... But as some of these artists, I don't know if they're transitioning from the world and coming over, or I don't know if it, to me it just seemed like it's a lot of artists that just want to do music, but they have uh, very little knowledge of of the Bible. And me, for example, I don't know everything in the Bible. Um, but the thing I like about my music is it makes me go to my Bible. Because if I don't have any foundation or if I don't have any anything to say, what's the point of me doing a song? And I feel like that's the difference. The difference is some people are just, oh, I got a beat. I'm going to make a song. And we're not tuning into God. We're not we're not tuning in with the Holy Spirit um, before we press record, before we write those lyrics. <laughs> So me, uh, uh, you know, there are times, so I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to make it sound like, seem like I'm better than anybody else because there are times when, um, I'm like, wow, I haven't dropped a song in a long time and I kind of just want to push something out. Um, you know, so I understand, but like I say, um, whoever it is, um, and, and that's including myself. We need to make sure that, um, and like I said, I'm not telling nobody to be a, 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 a copy of what I am. I'm just giving my insight and my input on, uh, you know, it's a lot of people to say, hey, you know, check out my music. And I'm a Christian artist. And if I'm going to check out a Christian artist's music, I assume that it's going to have something to do with the Bible. You know, and a, and a lot of the stories are, I, I, like, I like Christian hip hop that's real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, they talk about real life stuff. Like, they're not just Jesus, 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 Jesus. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. I like those songs, too. But I also like the ones that talk about real life. Like like I said, my song, Southside Hayden, it's more like, it's talking about real life. And, like, I, I, I more or less, that's, that's not really a song that I made for the church. There's some songs you play in church, and there's some songs you play in the streets. A lot of people in the streets cannot relate to church music. 
So you got to bring you you have to bring the 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 word of God to them in a way that they can be like where they can relate to it. You know what I'm saying? Where they can where they can where you can be a fisher of man. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of they a lot of people here would hear my song Southside Hating and not even really realize that okay, this is a a Christian song. You know what I'm saying? Because I speak about real life. You know what I'm saying? So I like those songs. I like I like songs where, where people, Christian artists speak real life. I think we need more of that, especially in R and B. The the Christian R and B side of it. Um, I think we need more of that. Um, there's a lot of people that that listen to uh church music and they listen to R and B. Like there should be a way for us to listen to R and B and church all in one. Just like with, with Christian hip hop. We can listen to church and rap all in one. That's what Christian hip hop is. It's Christian rap. It, it, it's rap and in 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 Bible based lyrics all in one. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I when some that's what I get when somebody calls himself a Christian uh a Christian artist or a Christian hip hop artist or a Christian rap artist. Um that's that's what comes to mind uh in my head. Um, because that's that's what I'm looking for when I when I go listen to music, I'm not going into the 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 the, uh, the rap category looking for Christian music. I'm gonna look in the Christian hip hop category, but problem is a lot of platforms uh, they don't they don't have a, a, a Christian um, hip hop category genre I should say they just call it rap or gospel. It's either gonna be one or the other, and we're really not. You know, I would classify mine as gospel before I classify it as rap. But if you listen to like some of the church, 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 church gospel, like we're on a different level than that. And see, it's crazy because a lot of churches won't accept Christian hip hop. And then it's like the streets won't accept Christian hip hop. Like, oh, y'all are corny. And then you go to the church, oh, y'all are too street. So which one are we? Are we too street or are we or are we corny? So um it is what it is it needs its own genre instead of everybody trying to put it in rap or trying to put it in 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 gospel i think that it should have its own you know maybe it is gospel gospel rap i guess but it's still different than a lot of types of gospel that i've heard you know um it's a lot of it's a lot of like older uh people that listen to gospel true gospel music that they don't want to hear that that uh that 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 bumpity bump 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 like that. you know what i'm saying that's what they used to call it like they don't want to hear that you know what i'm saying so um you know i think a lot of uh a lot of a lot of uh artists christian i don't know if they a lot of artists come into the christian hip-hop game or category whatever you want to call it genre and they they look at it more like um like a sport and they look at it more as like a financial game like i think any i mean you can tell the difference when you when you listen to uh, the the artists you can tell the difference and when when they are like going hard for the lord at, at, at no matter what at all costs like like me i'm gonna rip the i'm gonna rip christ for free and if and, and, and if it makes it to the point where it's making money then then by all means because now i can do it if, if i'm making money off of it now i can do it full time you see what i'm saying so i don't see nothing wrong with that but when you put the money before the word it's a problem because now you're not what you're saying is not it, it's foundation is shaky you know what i'm saying so that's why i say like you look on my on my youtube uh i haven't been on there in a long time but if you if you even when i had stuff from years ago you look on my youtube and my youtube is not just music 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 a lot of what's on my youtube is 
Bible, 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 Bible. Because I, I really feel like, I really believe that as an as a artist, there's nothing wrong with doing a song. But after you after you be a fisher, man, after you reel that person in, you got to give them solid food. You can't keep giving them this, 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 I should, I don't want to say watered down, but you can't keep giving them this, this entertaining, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you can't, that's not solid food. That's like milk. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're babies and you, you, you give them the, the, the milk. That's how you reel them in. But then once they get a, get enough of that. You're like, all right, you ready? You ready for the? You know what I'm saying? You ready for the meat now? And that's when you hit them with with the real solid word. That's how you reel them back into the church. You feel what I'm saying? So I, th th that's my mission. And I don't know if all Christian uh, 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 rappers have that same mission. 